Excited anyway, because you've been on and on about Harvey and Harvey Weinstein and how you think the justice system has mm. been really slow. But yeah. finally, he has been found. Okay, he was found guilty in New York City of first degree criminal um, sexual assault and third degree rape. He was cleared of the most serious counts of predatory sexual assault, but faces up to 25 years in prison. He's expected to be moved to the prison where he have, mm. awaits March 11 for his sentencing. He still mm. faces charges in Los Angeles um, of assaulting two women in 2013. What's okay, that? so for the ones who was found guilty, it's a maximum of 25 years for mm. um, three to 10 years. So um, from my, what's it called now? From the way I see it, I think it won't spend more than 10 years in jail altogether because I don't think it'll be, they'll probably see out for good behavior for all reasons because immediately was sentenced. His chest is hurting. <laughs> About getting He's feeling some street. type of way. <laughs> and it was carried the, out uh, um, in an ambulance and all they of that. They all do that, all but, of them. But, but I'm just glad that mm -hmm. finally justice <laughs> has been served and this is not another um, guilty person who sparked the Me Too movement that is going to go scot free. So yeah. I'm just excited about that. Even if it's one year, at least let him of pay course. the price. Of course. So I really do not care how many years. The fact that, okay, at least he got something. Yeah, I'm definitely He's looking forward working. to the 11th of March because yeah. I yeah. want to know what his sentencing yeah. is going to be. Regardless, I because because Rick had... Island is nowhere to joke with because I did my research because that's where he's going to be mm. serving the sentence. So it's not um, a place. It's not they, pretty. It's not pretty no at all. Mm. And um, they don't like um, sexual predators <laughs> over <laughs> there. So I just hope it comes out alive. Most prisons don't like sexual predators. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they are human beings uh, uh, there as yeah. well. And but, they, but they try to put their kids, their daughters, their family in that shoe and then mm. ask you, why are you doing what you're doing? You know? Mm. You want to say something? So, Avi. Congratulations. I, I, um, I was looking at served. the captions and people were like, oh, as Nigerians were like, oh, what's our business with this and blah, blah, blah. So I was just thinking, like, how can you find a way to maybe make this more relatable? I think people don't understand that, like, for the, for the world standard now, this is the most privilege you can find, a white, male, rich person. So it's like hmm. we have... We have Pretty it's much a made a big breakthrough. Just think about our, uh, like Nigerian context. Is like let's say we're moving. Um, <laughs> don't, don't don't give us Nigerian context. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Let's go, let's it's go. like it's like you mm. know doing like really shaking the tables here. Something that we know is impossible, and you actually find a way to do, make that breakthrough. So this is a big deal and a big win for people. And you know, it, in light of being this week being social media week, I think everything just connects together. That we are in a new movement, guys. And you cannot underestimate or undermine the power of social media. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is that it, it makes us the fourth estate in the real sense of it. Because then now they have to be accountable. Mm -hmm. Now we can't just sweep it under and say we've forgotten. Everyone is was in this together. And taking down such a powerful man mm -hmm. is such a big win. Um, there were so many people, obviously, that came out. But he was only charged for... 80. Yeah. In their dozens. And they only, was only charged for two or three predatory... Um, rape and then the actual fist like violence, tear your pants type things. <laughs> so only just those two. And even then, they're being um, taken very seriously. It's not having any lightweight. Um, and you can see in the uh, there's another lady that came out, an actress. I think it's in, her name is Dana, but she wasn't. Her case wasn't filed through because there wasn't there wasn't enough evidence to mm -hmm. make it a legal case. And she was saying that she has vowed to this case and that she's going to follow up in the years that he. Um, he has to serve. I'm going up to what Ife was saying. She says a minimum of at least three years, mm -hmm. which is something for him because he's already old. Mm -hmm. His life is pretty much mm -hmm. uh, at his peak. So I'm glad that people are, you know, on this story. And I, I'm, I'm excited. It's a big win. Yeah, it's a big win. It's and then win. considering the fact that he sparked the Me Too movement, so mm. this is also a, a big win, win yeah. for the Me Too movement. It's a big yeah. Because, yeah. because yeah. I feel like if Winston can get into trouble, then a little small boy or like some manager yeah, like somewhere now, that wants to come and touch some girl, well, think about it twice. I mean, we're, we're already having that. Mm. I have friends now saying that I just I went to this guy's house and like he didn't want to touch me because you know people are 
like a lot more careful. They're asking now. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I don't think that's a bad thing. It's a good culture to have. Yeah. I don't understand yeah. why Listen. you're saying people are saying how is it uh, business in this part yeah. of the world. Because most because, of our culture of is, from there. is now being influenced by these people. You yeah. watch their movies, you watch their lifestyle, you want to yeah. do what they do. Our laws are And now, you, like that. you said, there are people around now wondering, can I touch you like this? Is yeah. this fine? Regardless of the fact that our uh, um, justice system is not as strong as it is over there. You know yeah. that you can still go down. Your reputation can still yeah. be tarnished. You know, and the people are being a lot more careful. So I don't think we can isolate ourselves from, from what is course. happening this in is the now, center of Hollywood. Is not yeah. possible. This is not going to be a precedent and an example to every powerful person that thinks they can use their position of power to do whatever they like. So now it's not a case of we're untouchable. Mm. You are touchable. You can be brought down. You can be destroyed. Because this is like the godfather of Hollywood. Of mm -hmm. Hollywood. Do you know what um, Do you know Weinstein, Weinstein is? Company, company is done? Like I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on reactions. Because yeah. there are people, I want to see what their reactions are going to be. I'm not going to mention names. but Like Oprah and <laughs> Gil King. <laughs> I read your I, mind, right? I, 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 I'll keep an eye on uh, the reactions. I, I, I think they might not say anything, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, no, it shouldn't be about that. So let me let me just tell you what they'll say. This is not about Weinstein. It shouldn't be about them. They should be about the, the big team. Okay, cool. Anyway.